Good day from a overcast day here in Indianapolis, Indiana. And this is our vintage 1966 GM Rupp Monza Junior that we just finished up. And we're gonna talk a little bit about it today and give you guys some information. Uh, as a lot of you know, the Rupp Monza Junior was a GM project and the original prototype was built by a couple of engineers in GM. And their original thought process was to build a scaled down race car. And this was produced in various stages from 1964 all the way up to 1973 with several different bodies. This here is a 1966. And it has the original Rupp tag in it as well as the original Rupp mold tag in, in the project. Now we got this thing from uh, a collector up in Canada and this was all original, had all the original parts. The only thing it didn't have was the engine and it was pretty rough but we decided that we were going to make this not towards the kitty toy range like a lot of the other Monzas ended up being. We wanted to make it more like a scaled down race car like the original engineers decided. So how did we accomplish that? Well, the first thing we did is like on the original, we used all Rupp Grand Prix original parts on it. Steering shaft, spindles, tie rods, then we, on our jig, we corrected all the front end geometry so it was exactly like a Rupp GP. We went to the back of the car and we put on the beefed up bearing cassette braces that were factory Rupps. And then what we did was, is we wanted to give this thing some power. So we decided that to make it like a car that we wanted to use an electric start motor. So we decided on using a factory racing Briggs motor from the Briggs Racing Division, a 15 horsepower world formula. And that is what we have here. As you can see here, it has a starter as part of the engine package, it has a battery pack that we built for it. We also wanted to make sure it stopped. The original ones of these cars all had the drum brakes on it, but we wanted to upgrade this for a disc brake because we wanted to make sure that whoever purchased this car could stop. So here's some nice pictures of the, of the disc brake unit, the caliper. This is actually a factory Rupp caliper mount that's on. We kept the original Azusa sprocket hub that came on the car. All the Rupp turbine wheels that we had burnished and redone and chromed the outer. The other thing was is that we weren't happy with the steel floor pan and the weight of the car. So what we did was is we went to an aluminum floor pan that we rebuilt, put a all brand new aluminum floor pan in it, had it polished, and then installed it on the car. And we think this gives it a really, really super, super racy look, along with the custom fuel tank that we made. Because again, we wanted to make it like a car, so we wanted the fuel tank cap to be just flush with the body so that it was just like a car where you could just take the fuel cap off and add fuel to it. So these cars are designed for the bodies to come on and off, and we wanted to do that easily. So when we wired it up, we made sure that we used all quick disconnects on both the kill switch and the start button so that it was very easy to undo those and take the body right off after you take the three bolts out on each side or the four bolts out on each side that hold the body onto the car. Now on the body itself, this body was never crashed. It was actually in really good shape. It was just painted a, uh, had a really poor paint job on it, been repainted. So. We sanded it all the way down to the bare glass and we painted this with this custom Tony Stewart pearl 
Coca-Cola Red. And it has five coats of clear on top of it. All the stripes are hand painted. Nothing on this, there's no tape or anything on the car. We repainted the entire underside of the car in black, just like it would have come from the factory. And to give it that real racy look, we built this aluminum engine cover for it and then painted that and striped it to match the car. So it looks really, really cool. So we're gonna do a couple of videos on this car. One of them, we're gonna do it just like this. We can show it in pieces. And then we're gonna actually take a video of the car with the body on it and of the engine start up and it running to see how easy it is. So again, this is our, this is the world formula motor that we put into it. It's an overhead valve motor, 15 horsepower, runs on gas, has a nice pipe we put on it, made a custom build so it's way away from the body so the body never gets hot. Build a custom mount to mount it. So it really is just like a miniature race car other than a kitty toy. So we hope you enjoyed this video. If you're looking for another one, you can go to our YouTube channel under Doug Sharp Vintage Museum and check this out. The car is for sale. Any inquiries or anybody would like to purchase the car, they can contact me at area code 503 757 6120. This is Vintage Restoration. We're located in Indianapolis. Have a great day.